If robotics can be more anthropomorphic, I'd love to have one. But if it's just a mechanical replica, just imitating movements without human emotion, it's not necessary. I hope it can accompany my parents when I'm not around. Yes, I have my own kids and family one day. If one day I'm gone and they want to know things from me, I hope the robot can tell them. The wishes could come true in the near future as a team of experts is striving to make robots more human-like. There are many ways that humans communicate with each other, including language, body movements, and facial expressions. We want to make robots to reproduce all this, including the cognitive ability with the outside world. This is our ideal state. The more human-like it is, the better. Li says a future of man-machine symbiosis is inevitable, and the similarity between a robot and a human determines the degree to which it integrates into human society. And he's sure there is a market for such products. People around have always asked if it is possible to customize a relative or a certain person. Either they like a certain image very much. Or because of nostalgia, such as that they have no chance to see someone. That's why the team puts every effort on how realistic the robots look, but it brings concerns over safety of personal biometric information, privacy protection, and ethical issues. If the robot appears as someone's relative, it must first be authorized. In the future, there will be rules for robot development, like the laws of human society. To restrict the terms of robot programs, it will be fine as long as we follow the rules in the process of developing robots. Li says the future as depicted in fiction is not as far off from reality as we may think, and that it's important to organize rules for robot development as we step in the world of tomorrow.